Hi, so this is uh, question one on the practice paper for GCSE Mathematics Proofs. Uh, this is round about A, A star grade, so you need to be just a little bit careful about the way you answer the questions. Okay, so the first one is, is it says the nth even number is 2n. Um, okay, well we need to prove that. What they're really saying is that any even number is 2n. Okay, so let's just check that. So we're saying that any even number is 2n. Okay, well as an example, um, let's look at something like uh, the number 3. Well, we're saying 2 times 3 equals 6, so that's correct. Or we could look at um, n as a number 2, so 2 times 2 equals 4. That's also correct because the answer to both of those questions is an even number and an even number. Okay, so the next even number must be 2 more than um, 2n. So the next even number must be 2 more because um, if we look at, say, the answer to these questions, we have 6 plus 2 equals 8, or we have 4 plus 2 equals 6. Okay, so therefore, the next even number after 2n must be 2n plus 2. Okay, or if you prefer, you could actually also make a comment that the odd number must be 2n plus 1. Okay, all right, so on to question B. Write down an expression in terms of n for the next even number after 2n plus 2. Okay, so we've got 2n plus 2 is the first even number. The next even number is going to be 2 more than that, so it's going to be 2n plus 4. Okay, now the next little bit is show algebraically that the sum of any three consecutive even numbers is always a multiple of 6. So we need to be just again a little bit careful about that but we're going to work through this methodically. So the first even number which we were given in part A is 2n. The next even number which we've worked out in part A as well actually is 2n plus 2 and then the next even number is going to be 2n plus 4, which was our answer to part B. Okay, if we then simplify all of that, I've got 2n plus 2n plus 2n. Well, that's going to give me 6n, and I've got 2 plus 4 is also plus 6. Okay, and I'm just going to factorise that as 6n plus 1, which means then that the sum of any three consecutive even numbers is always a multiple of six. So that's a multiple of six. OK, so that's question one on this particular series. Um, please do uh, have a look at the post on my website and you'll be able to download the full answers for this whole um, proof questions.